Hey everybody, my name's Silver. Welcome back for more Bungo Stray Dogs Tale of the Lost here in the channel. Before we do begin, if you guys did miss the last video where we actually did go ahead and take on the extreme challenge for the brand new Black Market Plus event that I guess you can say leaves in one day for me, but it's probably already gone for you guys. I will definitely leave that link in the description where the playlist is at, as well as the cards and end cards. But I guess you can say now before we do begin, if you guys are hyped and ready for more Bungo Stray Dogs, hit the Lost here on the channel. Definitely make sure to hit that like button for your boys. Please subscribe to the channel for more and making related content. And that was fast. That was fast just because I wanted to get it out the way so that we can go ahead and begin. Now, I know I am mad late for this, but I still need to do some grinding for the Black Market Plus event. But before we do go ahead and get into all of that, I forgot to do this in the last video, so I have to do it in this video, and I have to do it again, I guess you could say, or twice in this video. I forgot to do my daily summons, okay? Now, again, we still have the Ability Fest banner out. It actually came out today for me probably don't know really when for you guys as well this banner i'm pretty sure leaves in like two days so i had to check the time you know but it leaves in two days so i probably won't be able to summon on all five steps only for the fact that again getting up to step five is going to be around 1300 stones or at least 1050 stones and right now only i have 647 so i'm shit out of luck for that one and i do not like this dazai not at all only because I did all the way up to step five and I pulled all dupes <laughs> uh. But either way though because of the fact that normally I've actually been trying to go on this one right here Just to see if I can get any of the three characters But because this ability fetch is out right here I'm gonna go ahead and throw one ticket in for this one and because I didn't do the I guess you can say the daily summon in the last video I'm gonna go ahead and do one on my regular tickets because again only have one limited ticket so with all that done and out the way go and grab your stones and your tickets for whatever game that you may be playing whether it be bungo uh dokon blazing duel links dragalia i don't really know either way though i'm gonna go ahead and hit this play button right here i don't know how my luck is going to be especially with tickets normally when i do do limited tickets i don't pull anything I really don't but for the fact that this is 1.5 increased for the ssr rates like literally we checked it in the last video the ssr rates on this specific banner boosted up to 4.5 and that's definitely not bad at all so that's kind of why i'm using the ticket right here but again if i get him i get it if i don't i don't i still have another summon left to go but y'all know the rules okay it's three two one tap and with that you guys get to pull down and swipe back Hopefully you guys get something good. Let me know if you did or if you didn't in the comment section below as well as what game that you were, I guess you can say something on. I did see, I do read the comment section. Somebody did pull an LR from Dokkan on one of the group summons. And I just want to say, shout out to the homie right there. You know what I'm talking about, dog, because the LR is a ghost. But let me stop fan going <laughs> off for LRs. Let's go. Three, two, one, tap. And I got a blue moon, so I'm not getting anything again. I hope you guys' luck was definitely better than mine, unless I did end up getting an SSR. Definitely not. Okay. I was about to say, if it was a rare G day, I would have just said no. Nah. I would have turned off the game right there. I would have walked out my door because I'm sick and tired of pulling that rare G day. But I guess with that all no, and done and out the you. way, I'm not probably I'm probably not gonna go ahead and summon on this ability fest banner at all. Even though I'm pretty sure this is a really good unit with some really nice art style. But again, I don't really care for Dark Age units. I'm sorry, Oda. I'm sorry, Ongo. And I'm sorry, Dark Age Dazai. But I am good. But because of the fact that I did go ahead and miss last video's, I guess you can say, daily summon. I got a whole bunch of tickets. I'm just going to go ahead and use one of them. Let's get this money. I don't know if I should do it again. But I might as well. It's 3, 2, 1, tap. And with that, you guys get to pull down and swipe back. I don't really know what game you guys are summoning on. I don't really know. But again, you guys can let me know in the comment section below. I guess you can say that rhyme. I'm just going to go ahead and summon now, okay? Three, two, one, tap. And a blue moon. Now, double blue moons is definitely a sign of bad luck, at least for me. But for the fact that it wasn't Gide and it was her fine ass right there, it definitely switched everything lot, or at least around. I don't know why I was about to say aloud, but I will take that, get uh, you off my screen. Time to go to the quest because we have to do what we are here for, okay? 
again this black market plus event leaves for me in one day we're on the second half so when it's gone it's just a shop so i gotta grind up mind you mind you mind you mind you i'm missing three of agatha two of mori and then how many of fukuzawa's that's one two i think it's four that's three right there it's literally just three I'm missing a lot of units and it really does suck because of the fact that I don't have any of the SSRs so I probably won't be able to get every single one of them like I won't probably I probably won't I don't know why I'm saying won't probably I probably won't be able to max out this black market plus event like I probably could if I pulled all of the units so with that it's time to show you guys at least how I have to do this thing you know we might as well right so again the best way to grind this thing is just going on to the highest difficulty which is actually going to be very hard now i do know that there is extreme but if you did go ahead and check on this extreme challenge it only cost one stamina and it only gives you one point so it's kind of useless you know it's literally just there for oh hey can you beat it it's really hard so if you can beat it then props to you but if you cannot i did go ahead and do a video about it you know hopefully bringing double healers again you know just wanted to point that out could help you out but i don't know why i just hit the quest button okay the best thing for me to do especially for the fact that i won't be wasting stamina trying to go through the easy the normals the hardest was the very hard is to just go ahead and stick on with stage nine the 36 stamina bruh it is a lot it is an absolute lot but because of the fact that i do have to grind this thing out my best option will be taking one of the brand new units now again hopefully you guys already know all this stuff because it's not only on the last day but if you guys are new then that's kind of why i'm doing it you know if you do go ahead and click the boost it kind of shows you what the character bonuses does or at least what character to bring now again the three ssrs from the step up banner give you a whole bunch of stuff each of them literally gives you the ability crystal kyoko's phone and the 25 event points percent up i guess you can say and then there's the dazai which does give you the exact same thing but again, you probably have better chance pulling for these three other than the Dazai. And then there's the three SRs, which give you everything else but what I need. The abilities, Crystal, and Kyoka's phone. So, with all of that out the way, I'm going to be looking for one of those three units. Now, I did see that there is an Atsushi right here, but he's only level 56. So, I'm going to try and look for another unit. Now, if I can find him then obviously we'll be taking him if not then i'll just be sticking with the regulars now i probably won't be able to find them because it's purple blue and yellow now i definitely did not find them at all so i guess i'll be taking this and sushi was popping with you arcane now normally when i would run through this event on the bonus stage again the bonus stage you get one of those literally every single day for five stamina and it gives you a hell of a lot of points this is the team that i would take I would take the three SRs from the shop because, again, I don't have any SSRs. And then I would go ahead and grab a friend event bonus character like the Atsushi right here. Run through it and get around 14k points. It's a lot of points. But because of the fact that I'm going to try and take this thing on without it, you know, like without the bonus, I cannot use you. So with that being done, I have to take a hard hitter. And my hard hitter will probably have to be my healer. To be honest with y'all because i don't feel like dying with this and i'm kind of scared i'm not gonna lie to you guys so this will be the team that i'm going to try out right now again if i really wanted to run through everything i would take this team right here probably switch off my leaders depending on who i'm taking but i'm going to try and do it with this team right here now i haven't done it yet but i do know at least on other black market plus events it is definitely possible to do it it's just going to take a little bit of a while. So this Atsushi real quick, I won't let you get away this time, increases the dark attack by 200 for two turns and reduces the dark attack of all enemies by 10% for two turns. Absolutely amazing, especially for the dark attack increase. Everything is still going good. I had to check it real quick. I'm so sorry. The Agatha deals 1.5 light damage to all enemies, as well as the Mori right here deals five times emerald damage to one enemy enemy and then you said all enemies that is absolutely fine and then of course like always we have our kyoka the healer the inherited feelings which recovers 50 percent of team max hp and reduces the damage from enemies by 50 percent for two turns absolutely amazing but for now i'm going to try 
and just see what I can do and just see what I can do because of the fact that again I'm not taking my hard hitting team I might die a lot and I'm surprised I didn't die there so now we know that all men are created equal that ability right there is going to be the weakest link and I come on what is with the marble not hitting anything Matter of fact, that is amazing to know. Now, normally when they pop the little shield ability right there, the damage down by 50%, uh, that's a lot of damage. And I'd rather use that damage on somebody else. But if it wasn't for that, I definitely would be attacking that ability right there, which I still do not know the name of because I did not look it up. So, <laughs> shout out to me, right? <laughs> so for now, we're going to go ahead and focus on Rashomon. Hopefully you die. You did. And now I can go ahead and focus on you, which I guess there wasn't really a need to focus her because she's the last ability. I won. Who cares? Now we know that you and you over there are the weak link or the weak links. Yeah, hopefully that's the right way to say it. But for now, I'm going to just go ahead and try and grab beat down and then just body everybody else. Now, I can go ahead and start popping abilities, but I kind of want to save those for wave three and then wave four as well. Just in case. <sighs> and you didn't die. And you gave it a buff. Oh, my goodness. It wouldn't be... A silver Yume video, it would not be a Bungo Zerdox video if at least one of those things, the marble just went straight up and down and hit literally nothing else. You're getting ready to die. I'm a pop beat down right now. Why not? And shout out to that Atsushi art. That thing is absolutely wonderful, by the way. I I had to point that out. Can I? No. No. I'm right there. I'm that close, but I just can't hit it. I didn't even get the sync strike. Is your thing done? Yes, it is. Thank you. So, let me do this instead. Uh, okay. At first, I was going to go ahead and just hit the freaking what's it called over there, the little boost. I'm very scared. I am very scared of that. So, thank you. Okay. 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 I'm very scared. Can you not kill me? You did half of that. Okay. Yeah, if I would have let you go ahead and grab all three of those things, I probably would have died right there. But luckily, your boy thought about it. Now I have to start popping abilities. We are on wave three, though. So I guess with that, I'm going to go ahead and pop you right now. I might as well pop you. I mean, it's two turns. I should wait. I'm going to wait for that. I'm going to just wait for everybody else, okay? I'm going to wait until we get to the very last wave to then start popping abilities left and right so we can go ahead and hurry up and then take care of everything like that. Because I feel like that last stage might be a problem. Might be a problem, you know. And matter of fact, I just realized something as well. First things first, shout out to the Sync Strike. I'm going to focus you real quick, even though I do see that Rashomon is getting ready to pop his ability. And I rather you not, and I actually rather it be the uh, the shield than you doing damage to me. But something tells me you might not live that far. Oh, brother! <laughs> How did I not? How did I not? Can you actually die? Come on! Thank you. I was about to say I rather not have to deal with that damage. Boss battle time: Shibusawa, Rashomon, and the Tiger. Now I'm gonna start popping abilities. I gotta pop you absolutely fire by the way i absolutely love it i'ma pop you shout out to the damage on all enemies even though it's very little damage i i still rather take it i'ma pop you as well and then i'ma start going after the tiger now the one thing that i actually have realized while doing all of this stuff off screen is the fact that Shibu Sawa is the one that i guess you can say you want to take out last only because we took out the tiger that easily I got beat down, I'm a pop beat down, I'm a aim for Rashomon, and I'm a fling it. It did it again. It did it again. Thank you for dying, Rashomon, but Oh my goodness, never mind! I don't care anymore! <laughs> wow! We did a lot of damage! 
I did not think that this team would be able to do that much damage. Huh. Well, who would have known? So, with that team right there, I got four phones. No crystals, a whole bunch of the other stuff, and only 9,000 points. This is going to be a very long grind for me. A very, very, very long grind for me. But, at least the one thing that I do want to show off though before anything is the stage differences. Now, hopefully I can find another leader. I do see the Octagawa right there. Can I find the Shibusawa? No, I cannot. I'm gonna try and take the Octagawa just to go ahead and switch up everything right there. Still bring my, matter of fact, I don't need the healer. I don't need the healer right now because we're taking it on with the what's it called with the very easy I guess or with the normals I'm gonna bring you matter of fact I'm gonna be risky I would be risky are you level one I don't like that I'm gonna level him up real quick okay I'm gonna level him up because my thing is I want to see if I can actually defeat the easy ones with just rocking it like this now you're purple I could waste the SSRs, but I do have a lot of SR ones. Hey, 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 let's go, baby. I'm already at 48. Yes, sir. I'm gonna hit the skip button. Now, I feel like I'm doing this all wrong, to be honest with y'all. I feel like I'm supposed to be using the rares, and I do have a whole bunch of those as well. But just to go and speed up everything, I at least want to do this, skip that, go back to the character, power up, evolve, to at least get you to SR plus. Now we should be all good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try and gotta collect these stuff first. Now I'm gonna try and go ahead and just take it on the normal side of things. Ooh, I still got the bonuses. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> but I at least wanna show off the stage differences because again, you guys saw that when we took on the very hard stage, it was the background of, I guess you could say, the final fight without it being all red and everything. You know, it was it was the blue skies, you know. I feel like when I take it on now, with the Octagawa, with this team right here, not bad at all. Let's go. Let's go. Obviously, I'm going to get less points, but did the sky change? Did the map actually change? I don't know. I kind of like that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I kind of like that. We're going to run through this really easily. Oh, you're only five to... You know, let me do you right now just to see. Not bad. Because it actually moves. <laughs> not bad because it actually moves. But... I still want to check if, it, if the stage actually clear or not. Now, I thought that the stage would change. And that may be because I took on like the very first stage and the first stage had a different, I guess you can say the background and everything like that. And I guess I'll probably go ahead and show off said first stage just to again show off the stage differences and whatnot. Even though I know I could be using my stamina just to go ahead and grind off everything like that. You guys already know basically how I'm going to be grinding this from now on. And I'd rather not keep you guys here for too long. Even though normally what I would do is just keep on grinding and grinding and grinding until I run out of stamina, which would probably be around two or three times or something like that. Maybe four if I actually did my math right, which I probably didn't at all. But, you know, I, I feel like showing off the stage would be definitely a lot easier. And now Shibusawa is by himself. So I'm going to do this. Because again, we love showing off abilities. I really don't need to pop anybody else, and that was absolutely horrible. I could have did a hell of a lot more damage. But guess who didn't? Me! <laughs> okay. Well, if you're not going to die this turn, you're going to die next turn. You did definitely no damage. And I like how I'm saying he didn't know damage when I'm taking this on on the normal stage, right? So, with all of that done and out the way, I actually am really curious how many points I would get just by taking a whole bunch of stars, you know? 2,000. And I got a crystal. I'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. 
So there wasn't a, uh, or I guess you can say there was a point of doing that, but easy stage, the very first stage, just to see, can I actually find you, sir? I'd rather not end off this video without showing you all, but I guess a lot of people didn't end up pulling the Shibushawa. Now I have used him before, and the green Daz is not even here either. Obviously there's a whole bunch of other green Daz eyes, but definitely not the one I'm looking for. So I'll be taking you, and I at least again want to show off the stage differences before I end off the video. So here we go. Like before, like always, when we actually took on the very hard stages and the normal stages, matter of fact, I guess I can say the very last stage of the easy, normal, hard, and very hard now that I think about it, as well as the challenge stage as well, the background was different. The background was the final battle where it was Atsushi, Koyoka, and Akagawa versus Shibusawa. First, it was the blue skies if you take on the extreme skies, or if you take on the extreme challenge, it'll switch to the red skies, right? Now, we're rolling through the streets, like how in the beginning of the movie, and I know I just said beginning all wrong and everything like that, but we were roaming through the streets, right? We're fighting everybody's different abilities. Because it's the first stage, I only fought Kunikei's ability, but if I kept on going up the stages, you know, that's when I would start to fight everybody else's ability. I'd maybe have to fight three abilities in a row. Maybe the last two abilities that I had to fight was going to be Mori's ability as well as Fukuzawa, or if you guys kind of don't know their actual names, the leader of the Arm Detective Agency's ability, as well as the leader of Port Mafia's, his, you know. So there goes that, I guess you can say. I guess that's kind of the only thing that I did want to show off. And now that I think about it, I, matter of fact, no, no, no. I was gonna say, I have no idea why she is on the cover. You know, Agatha, the, the Order of the Clock Tower lady. But then I had to realize that she was actually in the movie. And I completely forgot about this until now because Agatha was the one that called Ongo. It was like, oh, hey, we're about to rain fire on you niggas, you know, if you don't clear this up within like 12 or 24 hours. So <laughs> good luck or everybody dies, you know. So I completely forgot about that, which matter of fact, have they shown off this lady in the manga? Because I know they haven't shown her off in the anime. The only place that they either have showed her off in the manga or was it just in the movie? Because now that I think about it, if she's from the Clock Tower, that's from England, right? So we have the England uh, Guild, I guess you can call them. We have the two from over here, which is where, you know, we love and stay at, which is Yakoma, I'm pretty sure, which is again, Port Mafia and the Armed Detective Agency. And then we have the one from the US, you know, the one that called the hit on for Tsushi, which is the Guild. You know, the one with Francis, you know, the goat himself. So, oh, forgot about one more, the rats. Shout out to the rat god himself. You already know who I'm talking about. <laughs> but either way, though, I guess that is kind of it for this video right here. I don't want to keep you guys here for too long. I'm going to have a whole bunch of grinding to do, especially for me wanting to get my last Aggie there because I feel like I won't be able to get anything else. So I'm gonna have to hope and wish that not only the Bender comes back, but this Black Market Plus event comes back. So again, I can go ahead and just take it on from there. But since I've been playing this game, they haven't really brought anything back. I don't know anything about the JP side of things, but if they do bring Black Market Plus events back, and if I'm still playing this game for you all, then I will definitely come back for this event right here. But other than that, I got a lot of stuff to do, so I'm going to go ahead and end off this video right here. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you did enjoy, do not forget to hit that like button for your boys. Well, consider subscribing to the channel for more anime game related content. I'm sorry, I guess you can say that I waited to literally the last day, you know, to do this Black Market Plus event, or at least to make the video out for you guys, but your boy has been very busy with a whole bunch of life and everything's catching up on me, but I'd rather not bore you with all that other extra type of stuff. We got more stuff coming on the way, whether it be Boongo Straight Out to the Lost or Astral Chain, so if you have not seen either of those, link for those will be in the cards, description, and cards, yada, yada, yada. But with all that done and out the way, I'm a dip. Have a good day, have a good night, wherever you are, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.